Well, you know, a lot of people ask me what I do to keep all zen and everything because, uh, you know, talking to people on the phone, it can be pretty uh, challenging sometimes. So a lot of times what I will do, it's real important I've found as uh, somebody who's working to mentor people to keep your mindset all calm and stuff. And so one of the things I've found is just do a little flower arranging uh, can really calm things down. Now, first of all, I'm no good at this. Uh, so if you're wondering, oh, you know, hey, how did you learn how to do flower arranging? <laughs> I grabbed some flowers and started sticking them in a vase. Um, that's what I started doing. But I just thought I would share with you guys just some of the stuff that I, I did to keep everything, um, you know, zen and cool around what I do around here so that you could see, um, you know, kind of what um, so some of the practices I actually have. Now, for those of you who wonder how I do my magic, keep things at some level or get things at a certain level, I just stick this base close to the edge of the, of the uh, counter and just put it at the level I want and just stick it in there. And the level of training I have around all of this is somewhere between zero and zero. So um, I highly suggest that you get at least that level or above if you're going to do it. So it means, what is it? You need like zero training to do this. And you say, Kevin, you know, why do you do this? Like a lot of people have asked me, you know, why I do some of my own uh, like why even clean the house, why I wash the windows while I do strategy sessions and why I do all that. And they've said, you know, people can hear you uh, moving around in the background. And the truth is, you're right. Yeah, they can. But what I found is really, really cool. And the thing that's helped me sustain doing this for the longest period of time has been just the ability to integrate um, just having fun. I learned a lot from a gentleman who you guys have heard me talk about. Uh, he was a he's a Zen Buddha uh, master. He's nominated for a Peace Prize by Martin Luther King. And for all of you guys who think that that means that he's some awesome dude, he is. But also, uh, Thich Nhat Han was um, look at this. Um, Thich Nhat Han was also banished after some peaceful protest during the Vietnam War. He was banished for, gosh, like, I think 30 years or more from his home country. So imagine, uh, for all of you who think, oh my God, you know, he's just some awesome teacher. Imagine this dude was banished from his home country. And he taught something that I really started resonating with a while back. He said that when he started writing uh, very successful poems, and for those of you who haven't uh, followed any of his writings, He's got some really, really awesome writings. And he said somebody came to him and said, Tick, you know, how would you like to have a name named Tick? <laughs> it's like Flea. Uh, you know, hi, Flea. But somebody came to him and said, Tick, why don't you spend more time doing poetry and spend less time growing lettuce? Because at the time he was growing actually a lot of lettuce. And he said in his quiet little way, he said, I told him, he said, you know, if I do not grow lettuce, I cannot write poetry. And I think that where a lot of us get stuck is that we are really tempted in our business to become like the superhero business person. And we are really tempted to develop, sustain, maintain some persona of you know having it all together effortlessly yet truly we spend almost all of our time um, struggling and so you know how can we give the indication of no struggle when in actual practice all we do is struggle that's been a, a thing of mine is I've observed people in the marketplace over time doing what they do one of the things I've observed is that um, it's really, really hard to fake um, peace. You can fake a lot of things. You can fake effectiveness. You can fake um, competence. 
can fake, you know, how prolific you are. But one of the things that I actually enjoy the most about my own business is the consistent level of uh, drama lessness and the consistent level of, um, you know, just being chilled out that I get to experience on a daily basis. And so for many of you who wonder, like I spend as much time, um, you know, using Tick's words, growing lettuce, as I do actually on the phone and strategy sessions. I spend a lot of time here uh, just studying spiritual principles or reading or chilling out. And as I have people in, I mean, that's a lot of what they do too. I've, um, I have had, you know, some of the most successful people I've had in as clients or as uh, people who are doing work with and for me, um, you know, they don't come up to work right away. They hang out, they do a lot of things because a lot of what we do successfully will, you know, take a lot of time germinating. And then in maybe just a moment or two, all the success will show up. And Tick kind of describes this uh, really powerfully. So I'll use his words instead of mine. He talks about the fact um, that we have two minds. We have obviously our conscious mind that is our active mind. And that mind, in his words, is, you know, our gardener. And the gardener inside of us spends a lot of time, you know, planting the activities of our life, spends a lot of time um, um, preparing the successes that we're going to have and, you know, really gets the seed into the ground and, you know, gets the water onto, gets the water onto the ground. But then, absent our gardener mind, absent our active mind, the next practice that we have is that practice of what he calls our core mind, our core actions. And what happens there is that's, you know, once the seed is planted in the ground and once the success actually starts to grow, sometimes the best practices that we can have are just to chill out and let stuff happen. And once we know that we've set some really core principles and practices in place and we know that we've done what needs to be done to, uh, have success, then sometimes it's good just to allow those things to uh, to grow and to um, really show up as as the success that we deserve in our business. So my feedback for uh, you guys today would be to really just relax. And I know that there's a lot of stuff that you can and possibly uh, would even consider that you should be doing. And I'm not here to suggest that you become irresponsible with your marketing or with your uh, business. But I'm also here to offer you guys the opportunity to, to just relax into, um, you know, some things and learn to appreciate the simple practices of perhaps tweaking your surroundings, the simple practices of perhaps, uh, you know, doing something that you find fun, walking about, uh, perhaps, you know, not calling someone to do your, your cleaning of your house if you actually enjoy it, but just don't have the time for it. But take the time to enjoy uh, walking about and doing something that, um, you know, others might, some people might otherwise delegate. And just take the time to enjoy the peace of having the time to do uh, something of that nature. Because what I think that you will find is that by appreciating that free time and that free space, you can have a lot greater peacefulness in what you do. And I think that that's something that we're all actually searching for is 
Um, the ability to have profits and the ability to have great revenue, but at the same time, the ability just to have a life that's super chill and is wealthy in more ways than just the amount of money that um, you might have in your bank account. So there's my two cents for the day. For some of you, this is going to be a really, really awesome post. And you're going to say, wow, Kevin is really uh, insightful. For some of you guys, it's going to be a really, really weird post. And you're going to say, man, that dude has gone off the deep end. But for all of you, be an opportunity to look at what you're doing and say, you know, I uh, truly have an opportunity to choose what I do in my days. And one of the things I offer you is just a chance to take some time out as I've showed you today. Sometimes just a simple task of putting a couple of flowers together uh, can be a real respite from the hectic nonsense of everything that we do in front of the electronic um, tether that we sometimes have sometimes. So uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna set it over here and heck I'll enjoy it. Toodle-doo.